Hey folks, Simon here from Vela Performance. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're a regular visitor, hey, look, really cool to have you back. This week, I'm talking about the real reason why cyclists can't lose weight and often find them piling it on, especially as they hit 40 and 50 and up the way. And I'm gonna share with you a complete and utter mistake I made with my nutrition, which if you learn from my mistake, you're not gonna make that too. So let's get into it. Given that cycling expends a lot of energy, you'd expect that losing weight would be fairly simple for us all to do, right? I mean, let's face it, a big long ride close to eight to eight miles can easily expend over three and a half thousand calories, which is a lot of energy expenditure. So why then are cyclists in their 40s and over struggling with their weight loss? What are they doing that's stopping them from hitting their body composition and weight loss goals? Could it be their metabolism is broken? Could it be gut health related? Or could it be insulin and high blood sugar? In this video, I'm gonna show you why some cyclists are losing the weight loss battle. And if you stick around, I'll talk about how to make sure this doesn't happen to you. Let me share with you a snapshot of a typical cyclist, AKA me, what I ate before, during, and quite frankly, embarrassingly after this ride and walk you through how, if you're not careful, you can put on weight even when you expend as much as three and a half thousand calories or units of energy. Right, let's talk about what I ate and some of the mistakes I made. Sunday started with my usual breakfast of porridge with raisins and blueberries and a whey shake and a very strong black coffee. My own bike nutrition was one Sturker energy bar and one precision hydration energy chew every hour. Oh, and I did have a cake stop to fill it with more water and have another coffee. When I got home, I felt a tad peckish, so I had a whey shake with water and one banana. After washing the BMC, which was covered in cow poo, I had a late lunch. That was two pita breads, four slices of beef and mayo with sriracha sauce and a boatload of salad food, which frankly, I can't be bothered to sort of weigh out or calculate, let's say about 150 calories not forgetting the condiments, so let's give them 50 calories. Because I rode long the day before, I kind of missed the Giro and decided to catch up all afternoon and in the evening and basically slobbed out on the sofa. And that's where it started to go a bit wrong. Giro means pizza, right? So I ordered local for their best stone-baked sourdough, goat cheese and mozzarella pepperoni pizza which is just a little under a thousand calories. But hey, I've ridden 88 miles thumping around at quite a decent pace, riding up Miluk, which is 30%. So I can eat that, right? While waiting, because I was peckish, I devoured a packet of crisps, which is 233 calories. And because those weren't filling whatsoever, I also toasted two pit breads and devoured those. But hey, I've ridden 88 miles thumping around at quite a decent pace. I can eat that, right? I was loving the Giro so much that I was feeling super Italian. So I poured myself over the evening two large glasses of Primitivo. And for pudding, I had a cinnamon roll. Dust! <laughs> but actually, thinking back at that, it could have been so much worse, but it's still not good. You see, my total calorie intake was 6,294 calories and adding up my total expenditure was 5,522 calories. That means I was 772 calories over for the day. Now, if I did that every weekend for eight weekends, I could easily start getting close to putting on one kg of body fat. Now imagine you did that every weekend for the whole of the year. How many calories do you think you would total up for the whole of the year? I calculated that over 52 weeks and it's 40,000 calories. Overeating calories is quite an easy thing to do, especially after a big ride because our hunger goes up. It's pretty easy to drink calories in terms of alcohol and eat cakes and things like that. Now, I'm not saying that anybody should not have those on their table. I, for one, love these sort of things, but it is a really important point I'm trying to get across in this video is that sometimes we can get so excited that we've done big miles that we can overeat. 
And this is what I see a lot of cyclists do. They totally underestimate the total amount of calories and the amount of food they're eating after big, long rides. And that's gonna derail you from getting to the body composition you want and losing weight. Now, I didn't really eat this way. When I got back from my ride, I ate way more mindfully than that, and currently, I'm totally off the booze. Right now, with my training and diet, I'm focused entirely on the Inferno Switch, which is a two-day stage race. Each day is 137 miles, with 5,500 meters of climbing in it. And I don't really want to be carrying any excess weight. I'm not your atypical super skinny climber. I've got a fair bit of muscle on me for a 53 year old and I'm kind of happy with that. I just don't want to be carrying any extra body fat than I need to because let's face it, the nose two days, it's gonna be pretty chunky. So really the big takeaway here is that cyclists who often say that they're struggling losing weight and say that they've got broken metabolisms and have poor gut health or something to do with age-related hormonal decline, it's not always that. In fact, it's rarely that. It's more often the fact that they are actually overeating food. Oh, that might be a bitter pill for some people to swallow. And look, I'll be really honest, I mess this up from time to time. Sometimes I overeat food and that's fine. Do you know what? I like my food. I like things like pizza. I like a good glass of wine every now and again. Just not right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got something out of it and you think other people will do, do you know what? Share it with them because I am trying to grow this channel out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back in a couple of weeks. Ooh. Do I tell you if I've got, hmm, no, I don't think I, no, no, I will. I'm possibly going to do something a bit crazy in a couple of weeks. I'm going to film it. So keep your eyes out for that.